She is the winner of a uh, Bravo San Diego Award, professional dancer and Michael Jackson impersonator Deborah Gregory joining us today. She's sharing her fascinating life journey through dance, and also you can attend her performance. Thank you for coming today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So we're going to talk talking a little bit. You were not a huge Michael Jackson fan all your life, you know, as a little kid singing to his music. It's kind of something that has evolved over time. So yes. tell us about that. So I started as a ballet dancer, and I had a full career as, as a professional dancer. And through the course of my professional career, I started to um, work with other impersonators and decided to take that on as a professional choice. Then I became a huge fan once I studied his material and got to know a little bit more of him from the inside. And I hear a lot of people say that. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people will see the, um, the biography done on him and, and kind of after his death have a new appreciation for Michael Jackson. Why do you think um, some people didn't appreciate him when he was still alive? Well, there was a lot of um, mystique around his life. Just like any celebrities, we make up stories that we then believe are true that aren't necessarily true, which is kind of true for a lot of our lives, you know? Um, until people really get to know us, they just make assumptions. And, you know, the same thing for me. They assume I, I was a big fan, but I have a, a very long... A career as a dancer, and that's really what brought me to, to impersonating Michael Jackson. So it wasn't really about impersonating Michael Jackson, but about expanding myself as an entertainer, uh, to grow myself spiritually. It actually expanded myself in a lot of different ways to take on that as a role. So we've heard of Man in the Mirror, obviously, Michael mm -hmm. Jackson's famous song, A Woman in the Mirror Now, mm -hmm. and that's uh, kind of the title of your performance. We have some video, actually, that we're going to show that kind of gives us a better idea um, but w the inspiration behind it, obviously, is Michael Jackson. But tell us more about your background. Well, as I said, I was a professional dancer. Um, my spiritual journey is also very much the driving force behind producing and writing the show about my life. Um, there's something about the transformation of the human spirit that is a universal theme. And in transforming my spirit to be able to take on such a huge project, not only as a producer and a writer, but to be a solo performer for 90 minutes alone on stage, I had to really expand myself and grow myself, grow my own spirit. And this is my motivation for doing this show, to inspire other people to step up and be more creative in their own lives, to think out of the box, to take risks, to do something that is completely unconventional, despite what society or you know, your family or your professional career may have said that you can or can't do. Take a look at this picture here. I mean, that is that is a great impersonation, Thank I have you. to say. Thank you. Um, so here, here's another one. I love that. What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Uh, well, I like a lot of different songs. Smooth Criminal, of course, I perform that sometimes. Um, there are some more lesser-known songs that I really like, Just Another Part of Me, because it talks about our interconnectedness. So I look for music that he wrote that is more poignant to me in my life mm -hmm. and things that mean something to me uh, in a transformational way. Um, Man in the Mirror, especially, because it's about looking within yourself and making changes. Right. No, that's a great song. Um, so tell me about the one-man show. That is just a very impressive yeah. task that you did. What is the most challenging part of doing that? Well, Besides the fact that you can't look to someone else, you know, to help you when you're struggling. Yeah, so it's a one-woman show. One-woman show, yes. exactly. Um, well, the challenge, it, it's not really the challenge about memorizing the lines. I mean, it's my story, so, and I can make things up, but really, if I need to on the spot, and people don't know that. Um, the challenging thing is to, to keep the energy high, to keep the energy engaged, and because I'm speaking directly to the audience, it really helps bring the audience into my story. Okay, so you can see the performance April 19th at 7.30 at White Box Live Arts. There's the information there on your screen, and then go ahead and head to the website as well. Deborah Gregory as Michael Jackson. Thank it's you. Dev as MJ. That's my website. Dev as MJ. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Okay, so Deborah, I shouldn't be having all the fun this morning. Mom should be uh, 